Hello, welcome back to Simply Channon. I am Channon and in today's episode, I will be bringing you a claw shop tutorial um, that has worked for me. So make sure you have your gua sha tool. I'm using Wilding Beauty's gua sha. I really like this stone because it, you know, it fits really great, these curvatures, but the comb part is really unique. It works the fine lines. Um, and just really can focus on the lifting part. So I really just enjoy this gua sha, but go ahead and make sure you have a gua sha tool. You want to have clean hands, clean skin, and you never want to practice on dry skin. So make sure you have some sort of an oil or serum that's going to allow the tool to slip. And then make sure you get yourself some water because water is important. After we're all done with this, we will flush out all those toxins that we just moved into our lymphatic system and help flush it out with some water. So today I'm drinking some water with some frozen mangoes just to add a little bit of flavor to my water because you know drinking water all day every day can get a little boring and um, frozen fruit is just a great little addition and then when the water's gone I have a little snack afterwards. So get your water, get your bar shot tool, clean your hands, face, get your oils and let's begin. Okay, so now that we have gathered everything, let's start. Um, you're going to want to start with clean hands, like I said, and a clean face. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. I'm using Primely Pure's Plumping Mist. Um, I've really enjoyed this one so far. I've also used their Clarifying Mist and their Everything Spray. All good things. And then I'm going to use this. Um, it's called The Good. And then I'll use a drop of this other serum that I have been using from Moon Beginning. This is their watermelon serum. And I just put about a drop in there to go mix it together. And I apply it to my face and my neck because you are going to be working your neck. So make sure you oil your neck as well. Get the back of the neck. When it comes to understanding gua sha, it's very helpful if you are able to understand how the lymphatic system works and where the lymphatic draining ports are. They're located throughout your face, your neck, your whole body has them. But when you're working any sort of facial technique, the point of getting all that fluid and stuff out and draining. So you have to make sure that you are hitting the right areas in the face to allow yourself to achieve the best effect from gua sha. Okay, so we're going to start. You're going to use this part of the tool and you start in the back of your neck. What this does is it opens up the lymphatic chambers. Your neck has a lot of draining ports, so it's very important that you work your neck to start. With each stroke and area, you want to go over the area three times. So I begin. And next, I take the comb area of the tool, and I'm going to continue three on along the side of my neck. And then I just continue around, moving and then bracing the skin down here. And I come to the front. And then when I get to the front over the neck, you're going to want to use the U shape very gently over the front of your neck. Now you're going to continue to go back. You're going to do the back one more time. This side you're going to this time you're going to work the other side. But you start in the center and then you work the sides. Following it up to the front. And then when you get to the center, you do the same thing with the same U shape. Always bracing the skin down here and using a very light pressure. From here, you're going to start on either the right or set left side. It's clearly up to you, but you'll work, work each side as like a whole. So my first one, I'm going to start on my underneath my chin, 
The difference here is I'm going to hold the tool more upwards where the U-shape fits up and you brace the skin right here in your chin. And so you're pulling kind of underneath the chin currently three times. Holding the skin. Now the next one, you work the front of the jawbone. From here you move upwards, continuing with the U shape. So it's going to go kind of over your lips. Hold. Next we move up a little bit. Now there is one of your lymphatic draining pores right here. So you do really want to work this little area. You take one of the little points and you just ever so slightly hold and just do a little bit of circles, about 10 of them. And then you work the other way. And then you start your pulling, same thing ever so gently, three times. And you can move, up, move your tool up just a little bit more. This time you're gonna work right over that um, cheekbone. Okay, so now we're gonna work the eyes. And when you work the eyes, you really have a lot of baggage or some eyes collect a lot of fluid under the eyes so you really want to drain them. I like to drain them by allowing the fluid to come down and then out. So I brace the eye from the upper, it looks funny, but I do this and then I take my U shape and I pull down ever so gently and then I pull out to allow the fluid to go down into the areas that I need it to drain from and then pulling that fluid out. So down and then out. I do this three times. And then I'll change the angle on the eyes just so I'll hold right here and I go down a little bit and then over. This one's next I work above the eye right on the eyebrow and next we're going to use the comb part of the tool and you're going to go right in between so the third eye if you will you go up three times holding And then you move over on your forehead. Now we're going to lift the right side of the face. When you are lifting, you're going to use the comb edge and you don't have to brace your skin with the other hand. You start at your chin and you go gently up so you gather your skin and you kind of you twist the tool just a tiny bit towards your head and just pull it up. You want to go right into your hairline. You do this three times. And then you move up on your face to here and you do the same thing. You want to gather the skin, then pull it up. And after doing this for a while, you'll notice that the amount of skin that it's able to gather is less and less as your skin gets tighter and tighter, which is what you're looking for. You also will notice a less puffy face. Your fine lines will be less noticeable and you have a better overall, just healthier skin appearance. And then you continue again, just right over the forehead. Just to finish the lifting, Then you want to finish with the U shape. You're going to put it right here and you're going to kind of jiggle 
then you work you want to work all of that everything down get it out I like to use this edge of the tool just to help bring everything down along the side that I just worked and then the last step I like to work is right here you have a whole bunch of lymph lymph nodes right here that act as draining so you need to just kind of shake it to allow them to get moving and kind of flush those toxins out because your lymphatic system doesn't move on your own you have to manually do it you can do this by gua sha you um you can do body gua sha uh dry brushing jumping moving just moving your body helps move that lymphatic system so now that you've done this you go ahead and you continue on the left side doing everything you just did on the right and then you're all done so after you're done you will wash your tools with just mild soap and water wash your hands of course and then you want to make sure that you drink at least a whole glass of water to help everything that you just moved in your face to flush out of your body so that's what i'm going to do right now so get yourself a gua sha tool you are not going to regret this purchase this was one of my best facial purchases that i have done for myself and I am just in love with the results. I always have been since I've started it, and it's totally just amazing. Highly recommend it to everybody, so go grab yourself one. If you want to follow along, join me over on social. I'm doing a 21 day gua sha challenge. I'm on day seven, um, and then in, so in 14 more days, I'm going to share what my face looked like before I started the 21 day challenge, and then what it looks like after. I've done this challenge before and the results were incredible. I noticed a less, less puffy face. The fine lines that I did have were not less noticeable and just the overall appearance of my skin just looked better and healthier. Um, I also noticed in a decrease in my sinus pressure and like sinus issues. I have a lot of seasonal allergies so I wasn't waking up with the big bags under my eyes as much anymore and if I did have the big bags if I practiced gua sha it really allowed my sinuses to open and drain and just give me so much relief so this gua sha tool is just all over amazing purchase and I highly recommend it so make sure you're following me on social at simply Channon. check me out online at simplychannon.com and until next video have a wonderful day